from that. He's got such a bright future. I know the Lincoln and the staff, they're very high on what he can do down the road. More like a, a Jalen Hurts body and style of player. Has a 59 yard run. He's got good speed. You bring him in here because it gives an extra man for Texas to worry about in the run game. And Rattler's a scrambler, but this may be a, a power run they're looking for. Yeah, and I thought he might just come in there and do quarterback sneak. They're coming right back with the same formation from Oklahoma. Brooks to his left. Need the length of the football. It's a keeper all the way. Makes a cut. Dances free and look out. Caleb Williams in the secondary. They're trying to run him down. Dimes. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 66 yards on fourth and a foot. This guy's going to bring to the table eventually. He's more of a true, true dual th threat. But I think he was surprised once he initially got the first down. He kind of looked around like, my gosh, it's the first time I've ever experienced this. Like, the big time college football. He takes it to the house. Well, he's got the speed to do that. Had a pretty good arm, too. But Williams has to bounce it right there. Then he makes a safety foster miss. And that's when I said he looked around like, oh my gosh, this is like high school. I got room to work here. I'm going to take this thing to the end zone. So Riley gambles, Middle's own 39, puts in the freshman and the progressive pylon. They take it to Gray Rattler, caught up in traffic, and loses the ball on the ground. Texas said they have it. It's a turnover. Overshun, who had a monster first half, recovered it. Ben Davis knocked it out of Rattler's hands. Abu looks like Lincoln Riley is going to do what he did last year. Lift Spencer Rattler, who had two turnovers last year, picking a fumble. Same thing here today. It was Tanner Mordecai, who's now the SMU starter, came off the bench, didn't do much. This time, it's Caleb Williams who's going to come on. Williams delivers across the middle and the catch is made. Hall hurls a man and his kind of pinballed out near midfield. Jeremiah Hall playing a big role here. For Cam, we've seen that already. He collected the snap, bobbled it initially, and gets the ball out to Trevon West, who makes this his second catch of the season. And Perkins does drive it through. So, first possession for Caleb Williams. They drive it. 58 yards, settled for three. Has to go in and talk about that. Yeah, the plot twist is that a year ago, Rattler comes and there's a spin move from Williams. Juke, open field, making guys look foolish. Electric, true freshman. Yeah, just talked about, you know, the, the utilizing his legs. Two backs flanking Williams. He pulls it, he's got grass, and the spins. Nice play fighting off the block by Thompson, but it is a first down. And the one thing of them, make OU throws underneath. Play action, ball zipped and the catch made. Cross for the first down. There is Mario Williams finally, this freshman who's got a growing role. He's electric with the football. Yeah, he's, he's into the boundary against Jamison and does a nice job of working back to the football, but he looks like he was able to still pick up the first down. And they worked the play clock. Williams flips it down. Gray tripped up. Overshawn zero on zero got him to the ground. And this gets the lead back to 15. But OU kept out of the end zone. Williams has to recover the snap. Now tries to make some magic touchdown. Could have been a disaster. But Marvin Mims collects it. A crucial score for OU. That was some poise. There's a lot going on pre-snap there. Almost oh. looked like a flinch. Yeah. Well, he he was down to three seconds, and he's trying to tell the center, Rame, I need the ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're about to get another delay a game. And I think he was so caught up in that that he fumbled the snap. But regrouped. So yeah. great poise, and finally. Marvin Mims has a touchdown catch, his first of the season, and the lead is 11. Yeah, if you look at the play clock, there's four seconds to go on the clock right there. Watch his urgency to get the ball off. You know, he's, he, let's go, snap it, snap it, snap it. So that kind of set it off, got him out of rhythm, but look how he handles that. 
Look at the poise in this big a game to keep it. Now he's looking to work to find an open receiver. And look what he releases his ball. The courage to make that throw between two defenders. Great job by Caleb Williams. At that point, your heart rate's got to be 130 after you fumbled the snap on a crucial third and 11, right? I mean, remember what happened against Kansas State. He, he, he took his eye off the snap just like that just like down that. there at the goal line. Yeah, it was, it was a combination of a few things. He actually was looking left there initially, but he's clapping going, let's go, get the snap, get the snap. But then the ball goes on the ground, and that's just an athlete being an athlete making a play by 13. You think what he envisioned what his first touchdown pass in college was going to look like, he was going to envision that. I'm going to fumble the snap. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to throw it in the end zone. <laughs> it, it, it's a cotton ball exactly. against Texas. Ball's off his hand, then his hands comes forward. I'm really surprised it wasn't shut down. Williams dodging pressure, leans into his throw. It's a downfield battle and a catch made by Marvin Mims. He just fought off B.J. Foster, an enormous gain. It's a gutsy throw, but at this point in the game, you love to see it. The defender never sees the ball. Foster never sees the ball. That's why, as a quarterback, even though you see cover within one score in this game. That's the key right there. Yep. Looking to throw on second and five, and zips it sideline route. That's Mario Williams. Didn't have a catch in the first half. Involved a couple of times here in the second. And Willis in the backfield. Get it out quickly to Williams on the edge. Dodges a couple men. Couldn't keep his balance. Knocked down at the 37. Good first down gain, though. Defense spread out. Brooks is the back. Williams has plenty of time. Steps up. Launches downfield for Mims. Diving catch! No signal. Touchdown! Are you kidding me? What a play! Marvin Mims heading to the touchdown all season. That's one for the rocking chair there. Unbelievable effort by Marvin Mims. Watch the foot come down. Where the foot comes down, it's not the shoulder, right there. He's in bounds and then the elbow, but that left foot touched to get him in bounds. Watch this, a progressive pylon cam. Check this foot out. Oh my oh goodness. My gosh, he's in bounds. His, came, his laces came close to hitting out of bounds. I mean, that's in bounds. He's that last look, that, that pylon cam might be the look of the year on a big play. The crowd had a very mixed reaction. This is for the tie to climb all the way back from 21 down. What a time to come back off the shelf. Rattler rolls, fires, caught. Conversion good. Game time. Drake Stoops. When you think you've seen everything in this rivalry, you're proven wrong. Wow. Their credit for keeping his head about him after this game. Worthy's going to bring it out. A true freshman <laughs> making a risky move does not get back to the 20. And now that Texas offense, Kirk, which has had a few three and outs, are they, are they calling this a fumble? Oh, you celebrating down there in the corner. Play of the game, but chose to bring this out from deep in the end zone. And watch here. Before he goes to the ground, it's Caleb Kelly that's in there, the oh, veteran. Oh, he's got it already. Yeah. It just, took, just it. took it away. Yeah, Caleb Kelly has to take the lead for the first time. Kennedy Brooks direct snap. Break it into the secondary. Barrels into the end zone. It's OU on top. Now it's a keeper. And he's going to be smothered after a short game by Overshawn. So, Seth gets away. Williams chases it down and flips it short to Brooks, who's going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage. Yet another snap gets away from the quarterback. This time, no miracle touchdown. Thompson steps up, delivers for Worthy. Touchdown, Texas!
25 yards to give him a chance. Long throw. He threaded it in there to Hazelwood. Pick up nine. Whoa, it's right. <laughs> Brooks has room. Knocked down across the 45-yard line. He'll go. Empty backfield. Plenty of time. Zips it. Catch made by Mims. And he's right at the marker. They will stop the clock at 25 seconds. Texas dropping two safeties back deep. They've got four guys, actually five guys underneath coverage to try to take away and make it tight windows. They don't need much more to give Burkett's a chance. They'd like to get a lot closer. That's Stogner in a long throw. And he is spun down inside the 35. How about Stogner staying in bounds there? Well, where are the two timeouts? Here. Direct snap. Brooks trying to make something happen. He breaks free. Kennedy Brooks says, forget the field goal. Win it with a touchdown. What happens on this field of this rivalry is remembered forever. And whatever side you're on, whether it's euphoria or heartbreak, this is a game that will never be forgotten today in Dallas. One second to play, and Oklahoma is going to win it from 21 down with a late 75-yard touchdown drive. This team was on the ropes two minutes into the game, down two touchdowns. And down three touchdowns later in the first quarter. But here's the touchdown with Stoops again coming around. Watch Murray, the right guard. Nice block there. But the big block is nine. Braden Wills on the linebacker. Boom. Sustains the block. Stoops makes a great block. Look at 11. Hazelwood. Second time we've seen in this comeback. The Oklahoma receivers in tight ends doing a great job of sustaining blocks to open it up for Kennedy Brooks to not get five or ten yards, but to accelerate through that defense, take it all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Last year was a touchdown pass. I mean, Williams, a special talent. As you said, everybody in the country wanted this guy, and they firmly believe that he's going to have a big future, but it's supposed to start next year. A situational guy this year. This is Rattler's show. Preseason Heisman favorite, said the odds makers. Just changing of the guard today in Dallas. Squib kick. Texas needs to take it to the house. Brewers, the tight ends, got it. Hurdles a man, but he'll be knocked down. And Oklahoma comes all the way back from three touchdowns behind to break Texas hearts again. And it's the Sooners to be wearing that golden hat one more time. Decision at the half. What went into bringing Caleb Williams out to start this game and change the course of it? I just he made some plays. It was a tough decision. Uh, but honestly, I mean, you want to know something about our team? You know, Spencer comes back in there and gets a two-point conversion that we don't win without. So that's what it's all about.